Hey YouTube, Evil Twin X back again for I think is going to be a really cool episode. Not too long ago I was contacted by a fellow YouTuber named The Abominable Blacksmith. That's a cool name. Young guy just starting out. He's been blacksmithing for a little bit. He's been progressing really nicely. Definitely much more experienced than I am. Wanted to know if I wanted to participate in a friendly blacksmithing competition. I'm like, yeah, sign me up. Didn't want to pick a project that was too out of my league, considering I've only done like two things. So we settled on a bottle opener. Check it out, all you beginner blacksmiths out there, watch this video. Go check out the Abominable Blacksmith. Check him out, check his video. Let's compare bottle openers. Give us your thoughts and comments. Let us know how, uh, how he did. I think you're gonna enjoy this one. So here I am going through my stock trying to figure out which one of these pieces of metal I'm going to use and I decided on this puppy. The shop isn't fully set up so we're going to be doing everything outside. Lots of smoke. So these are the steps I'm going to take to create my bottle opener. First I need to trim down the size of the stock, it's just way too long. I know the experts make it look so easy, but I have to tell you, I had a really hard time just uh, punching a hole through this metal. So after several heats I finally did it and uh, it wasn't pretty, I didn't see any slug or anything, but it was through, I got through. So at some point I realized that my slit was a little bit too far down from the top. I had too much material at the top of the bottle opener, so I had to, uh, I had to trim that off. So slowly making progress, just kind of, kind of starting to form the shape of a bottle opener. So here I am trying to form the little lip that catches underneath the bottle cap. and I was somewhat successful. So my original plan was to draw out the bar, make a really nice long bottle opener and then maybe do some scrolls 
and uh, this took forever. And I tried every part of the anvil, the horn, the edge, to try to draw this piece of metal out. I thought what would help is if I got the metal really hot and unfortunately I got it way too hot. I fried it. So all that effort went to waste. And I had to trim it off, but it still, uh, still had a good size to it. I'm still pretty happy. So here I am just texturing the metal with the peen of the hammer. Just giving it some nice, uh, nice indents. That magnet under the heel of the anvil is there to reduce the ringing and uh, did work out well. So this, uh, so did this texturing effect, but it was really tough on my hand. Uh, my hand got tired really quick. Here I am trying to put a nice little scroll on the tip. came out a little flat. And here I'm bending it a little bit the opposite way. So you get a little bit of a wave in there, a little, a little extra detail. That took a lot longer than I expected and it was definitely difficult. My hand uh, doesn't have the strength to hold on to the hammer uh, for such a long time pounding metal and it felt really weak. I had a lot of respect for those guys who do this for a living. It uh, didn't turn out exactly as I was hoping. It is pretty fugly but kind of cool at the same time and I am pretty happy with this. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit and sh you know polish it. Uh, it it, it has some definitely ugly parts to it, but I did learn a lot. It has to be hot. You have to hit it hard. Maintaining the fire, getting the fire hot enough, uh, reading the metal. As you can see, I was worried about burning it, and I kept having the metal a little bit on the cool side. And then when I went really hot, I did fry it. So uh, it was definitely difficult to maintain the fire. Uh, pull this out, brush it, try to film it. It was fun and I can't wait to do this again. Abominable blacksmith, I want to see what you came up with. This is my piece. Guys, if you haven't tried this, you really should. It doesn't take much. If I could do it, you can do it. It only gets better from here. Um, I don't have a lot of free time, I always say it, but I try to try to do some metal hobby work. It is kind of cool. So Evil Twin X saying so long.